Yeah. Homie, I'm yeah. ready. Yeah. I'm great. Just protecting my investment. Yeah. Ask about me. Integrity's not a question. Ladies and gentlemen, this amateur bantam weight belt is set for three rounds at three minutes apiece. First, fighting out of the B2 blue corner. His record stands at two wins and three losses. His height, five feet, nine inches. His weight, 130 pounds. He trains with Willis, Karate, and Jiu-Jitsu and comes to you from Foley, Alabama. His name is Frank Townsend. <laughs> and his opponent, out of the one more gym red corner. His record stands at zero and four. His height, five feet, eight inches. His weight, 134.3 pounds. He trains with Team Ground and Pound and Elite Fitness. He comes to you from Carrollton, Georgia, and his name is Trent Flame Ashira Swift. <laughs> Cody Eason will be your referee when the action begins. Rocky, it feels like these guys are going to race out. Man, the intensity in that cage right now is ridiculous. Yeah, this is going to be a good one. Swint, Swint in the red tape. Big leg kick there from Townsend right away. Frank Townsend in the blue tape. Swint stalking, Townsend kicking. Already Swint switches stances to avoid the, the leg kick of Frank Townser. Goes right back and immediately Townser kicks again. Swint's hands are kind of low right now. Frank's got a really quick jab. He's got to keep he's got to watch keeping them hands down. He's gonna need some jabs. Jabs along with those nasty leg kicks. Hard kicks from Frank Townser. I mean, just ripping the legs of Trent Swint so far. I like to see Frank opening up on those leg kicks early. Too often you see guys that'll start with the leg kicks, but they'll start late in the fight, and that's not what you need to do. If you're gonna utilize the leg kick, you need to start that early in the fight, so it, utilize, or it really breaks down their movement later on in the fight. And there we see again, Frank Townsend just ripping the leg of Trent Swint. And Trent said that he planned to come in and, and let his hands go. Maybe he's having a, a bit of the same problem as before, a little apprehensive. Good takedown there from Frank Townser, and this is where the 10th Planet Blue Belt wants this fight to be. Yeah, Frank did a really good job of timing that takedown. He set it up with a lot of strikes, a lot of kicks. Got Trent on his, you know, on his heels, ready for punches and kicks, and he just went straight in for that takedown real easy. And again, Frank Townser training out of Willis Karate and Jiu-Jitsu. You know if a, if a fighter trains out of Willis Karate and Jiu-Jitsu, he has submission grappling. He's looking to submit. Frank Townsend steps right over to mount. Trent Swit attempting to wall walk. That's a real thing, what you talked about, submission grappling. They're looking to tap you out from the time they put their hands on you. Often we see guys that come in with maybe just a wrestler's base and they want to grapple, and that's fine. You can eke out a, a, a win with just grappling. But submission grappling, these guys are coming in, they're looking to try to get you out of the fight early with a submission. It could be so frustrating to go up against, and you know, you're laying on your back, usually against a guy that is of a train of thought position over submission. You can relax, but Trent Swint cannot relax right now with Frank Townsend. If he gives up any space. See right now he's setting up yeah. that triangle. Townser was going for it there. On the right guillotine. away to the guillotine. This oh. is an arming guillotine. And it's a little bit harder to finish, but you can finish it. Townser recognized that it wasn't in properly. Swint doing a good job of hand fighting. I love that Townser are able to finish on top. The blue corner, Frank Townser telling him Stay on top, ride it out. And that he did. He ended that in a nice leg right there. Leg drive with good control. The dominant first round for Frank Townser as he flexes on the crowd. You know, like we talked, Trent was said he was going to let his hands go in this one. We haven't seen it yet. I hope to see him come out in round two here and let him just fly. Yeah, and as you mentioned, Rocky, Townser just going to work with those leg kicks. Just irritated, Swint into standing straight up and running in. Right away, Townsend with a good level change. 
It just shows the, the, the power of a good utilized leg kick. You can set up strikes, you can set up your takedown. A good leg kick, I love a good leg kick. Absolutely, and you know, most fighters will tell you they've been there where they've eaten those kicks and the second, third round is beginning and they go, I don't know how much longer I can do this. I, I can't take this very much longer. You see guys start to switch up their stance a little bit, you know you've gotten to them. Yeah, I think Trent Swint was switching up his stance within the first 30 seconds there, which is not a great sign. He is gonna have to dig deep to overcome that first round here tonight. And of course, Towns are just wanting to stay the course. Oh. Okay, there you go. Trent was ready for it that time. He went to grab it. I think that was kind of a, just a fall down on Frank's part, but it did end him up on the bottom here. We'll see what his guard game is like. Yeah. An unlucky slip for Frank Townsers. But Trent Swint was all over. A good scramble here. Townser finishing on top. He was in danger of a triangle there for a moment, but passes to side control. And now he's settling. It's Josh Elverton is in the corner saying slow down. Very nice advice from the scrappy. I'm impressed with the grappling here. Frank Townsend he's doing a really good job. He got it to the ground right away. He's smothering him out, working to pass, really active the whole time. And with two minutes to go in this second round, again, all day long. Trent's doing a good job right here with that knee shield, and he let that go. He needs to start working that underhook on the left arm right now, starting to get his hips out from underneath him. And as he's doing right here, he's doing a good job. A little more hip movement. But he's going to get, he set himself up to maybe get caught in a dart choke right here. Yeah, there's no telling what towns there's looking to shoot up here. Long arms. Good head position. He could just be looking at ground and pound, Swint. And as the scrambles are happening, Townsend's just looking to snatch submissions as we see this inverted triangle attempt here from Frank Townsend. Like we talked in round one, he's not looking to really try to get uh, position over submission. He's trying to submit everywhere he is in this fight. And as we mentioned with our debut fight, Jack Dostaller, I, I can't fault any guy for being on top and searching for a neck or an arm. I mean, he, Townser is on bottom now, but he was on top and he was looking to finish the fight. Let's see how the top game is here of Trent Swint. This is by far the most dominant position Trent Swint has had so far in this fight. We'll see what he's able to make of it in the final minute of this second round. He's doing a good job with the neck hug control, but he wasn't doing much to keep his hips pinned against the hips of Frank Townsend. And that's what allowed Frank to get back to his guard here. And Swint doing a good job of keeping the hips of Townsend pinned, dropping in little blows here and there. He's got to be careful, pushing his hands there. Triangle, oh, what great technique from Townsend right away under the leg so that Swint couldn't pick him up. But good defense from Swint, but he's right back in it. Man, that was a quick setup. I love the relentless of, of this how he is keeps tight. going for it. I this, love it. Yeah, this could the, be it. This, this is, oh! Great. Go to the round. Man. Saved by the bell, or the horn, rather, in this circumstance. Great coaching from Trent Swint's corners. They're screaming, counting down the round. So he knows you you, you got four more seconds. You, Trent, can, you can last this. Trent knew exactly where he was in that. He knew, I have four more seconds. I can tough this out four more. That was deep, though. Super deep. Two times. Super deep triangle in the last 30 seconds you see for Frank Townsend. right there on Frank. And ended up on bottom. It was a good scramble. Ended him back on top there. These guys are scrappy. And, you know, I, I think it's fair to say that probably so far it's two rounds to zero for Frank Townsend. But Swint is game as they come. Swint is still in this. We saw the triangle attempts there. We can't ride him out. If, if I'm in Swint's corner, I'm telling him, Let's see some more submission attempts. Yeah. You got them in there, let's see them. Let the hands go. If you end up on your back, let's see more of that triangle. Absolutely. Let's go, Trent. Let's go. Six, six, 
Frank Towns are just all over the positions tonight. But Trent Swint has the ability to finish this fight at any moment. He says that he wanted to throw his hands. This is his moment to throw them. He's got one more round here tonight in our second fight, B2 Fighting Series 124. Let's see if Trent Swint can let them hands go. Swint checks the kick there. Pounzer telegraphing the shot. Swint able to sprawl. His corner wants him to spin and take the back. Towns are doing a good job of fighting the hands, trying to peek out there. Locks up full guard. Trent really needs to kind of go for broke here. He needs to mount some good ground and pound. He can't just win this round. He needs to finish this round. Oh, Townsend's on a head and arm choke from the guard here. This is an old school submission attempt. I mean, this is as old school as it comes. You let it go. That's a that's a real dangerous submission right there. But yet again, Frank Towns are just looking for subs all over the place. Throwing them up one after another. R right foot in the hip for Frank Towns, or he's going to be looking to shoot up another armbar triangle perhaps. And Swint recognizes it and stands straight up. And Towns doesn't let him run away. He gets in on the double right away. And Frank just relentless with wanting to grapple. Good sprawl here from Trent Swint, but the wall can actually hurt Swint in this position. He's on top, he's surviving, but he needs to do more than just survive here in round three. I believe he's down two rounds. He's got to finish it tonight to win this fight. Around one minute to go in this final round of this fight, and this is Trent Swint's moment. The towns are just not allowing any Breathing room for Trent Swint. Townsend gets in a bad spot, turtles up for about uh, three seconds. He says, no, we're going back to my guard, and I'm going to isolate your arms and shoot up arm bars. This is a nice front turtle roll there to end him back in the full guard here. And props to this one more Jim Red corner. They are doing their absolute most to pull it out for Trent Swint right now. I feel like I want those guys to follow me around everywhere we go. A yeah. couple of big right hands there for Frank Townsend lands, and a check left hook actually landed for Trent Swint. And Townsend says, no, nah, we're going back to the ground. Trent Swint looking for somewhat of a guillotine here. Not, not real easy to finish in that position, Alex. No, but he, you know what? He is throwing up the Hail Marys. That's, that's what I like to see. I, I want to see a little more going for broke, though. Ten seconds left. He's got to go for it. Ten seconds left in this final round. This third and final round. What a great fight. These guys both going for broke. Towns are throwing up sub after sub and Swint going for broke on the ground and pound there in that third and final round. What an entertaining fight. You see here Towns are actually locking a head and arm choke from the guard. See him sneaking that knee in there. That's yeah. Jiu Jitsu Guard 101 right there. What a great fight. Oh, oh big right big hand. Right lands. Boom. And Swant lands a check left hook as well. Really love the way that Townsend was mixing in his punches and kicks with the takedowns. And a beautiful display of technique. Frank Townsend tonight. And Trent Swint, a great display of heart could have easily given up at any moment. He was in it all the way to the end. And that, like you said, Frank was firing up submissions the whole time. And and uh, Trent never got submitted. So that means yeah. he was defending submissions the whole time. And he did a really good job with that. Yeah, as you said, Trent Swint spent about uh, eight and a half minutes of defending submissions. And as a fighter, Rocky, you can attest to this, I'm sure, it when it's just submission attempt after submission attempt, at some point that gets in your head. You're like, man, I'm spending this whole time. Constantly defending submission gets in your head. But you can't, you know, you can't write that off for Trent though. You know, half of jiu-jitsu is jiu-jitsu defense, right? So he's got that in. It was a great fight and uh, I'm glad to have been a part of that one here tonight. I'm glad to have been a part of it as well. And we're gonna go to ring out your land screen to figure out who won this one. Ladies and gentlemen, after three, Grueling rounds. 
Judges Cleland, Cleland, and Stevens all see it the same way with a score of 29 and 28. Your winner out of the B2 Blue Corner, Frank Townsend! Chris. What a magnificent display of submission grappling from Frank Townsend. He is an absolute stud representing Willis Karate and Jiu-Jitsu. With the same ones that was down from the jump day one Same ones been around when the ain't funds Even got love for fake ones that changed up like they break one <laughs>